again in rivalry week against Blaine. So they've got the wrestlers to go a long way. They would take on Coon Rapids on the road. It always starts at 106, and that means Emily Shilson right out of the gates. It was hard fought at 106 for Shilson, but in the third, she eventually works the shoulders down, gets the pin, and things are off to a good start. A loss and a forfeit, though, would put Coon Rapids in the driver's seat early, going in to 126. Aston DeGeest, he didn't wait too long at all. You see the seconds ticking down there, just 80 to go in the first. Kind of a waiting game with 50 to go, and DeGeest does get the pin. It would start three straight pins at the next three weight classes. Next up, 132 for Jake Berglund. This is really where they can make some hay. Just 40 seconds to go, Berglund spins him down, and the pin with 41 left officially. That's two in a row. Now Tyler Shilson at 132. He waited a little bit longer. Into the second he goes, still just over a minute, and a third straight pin. The Cougars are in the driver's seat. They'd get a win on a decision at 145, and then a loss at 160. That brings us to 170, and John Knoll was down three to one. You see it right there, late in the third. Seconds ticking away, but he makes the move, gets out, play of the week nominee, because he turns a defeat into a pin with just 13 seconds to spare at 170. Next up, 182, a chance to seal the win for Riley Treadle and the Cougars. He was also down, got the quick reversal to tie it at oh, two, and it got the late points to get the victory. That sealed the win in the meet. Did it again. 195, Justin Mullen for good measure. Just six seconds to go, and just enough for a pin. Cougars take the victory 47-26. And as Tenson Ooh. mentioned, that's a pretty good marquee matchup. But 126 through 132, 138 rather, that's mm -hmm. going to be tough for people to beat the Cougars. Yeah. They're pretty good right there in the middle, and they can throw in a few extra wins.